Hey folks, this is Tina Hoy with Follow the Coin. Welcome to this snippet of Bit News. As you may have already heard, this weekend celebrity photo leak has made everyone question whether anything is truly safe online, especially when it comes to personal photos and files. Hundreds of nude, semi-nude, and fully clothed personal photos of female celebrities have been leaked overnight stolen from their private collections. More than 100 celebrities, including Jennifer Lawrence, Avril Lavigne, Kate Upton, Ariana Grande, Kristen Dunst, Selena Gomez, and Kaylee Cuoco have had their nude and intimate pictures supposedly leaked online by an anonymous 4chan hacker. In total, it's being reported that up to 423 celebrities may have been hacked. It's unclear as of now how the images were obtained and from where or how long ago but 4chan users are claiming that the hack has been from celebrities' iCloud accounts. The accounts are designed to allow iPhone, iPad, and Mac users to synchronize images, settings, calendar information, and other data between devices, but the service has been criticized for being unreliable and confusing. As of Monday evening, September 1st, 2014, an official police and FBI investigation is underway. Adding confusion to the case, some of the female targets that have claimed that the photos of themselves were in fact real claim to be Google Android users, which may confuse the Apple iCloud claim. In either case, the event would now have been dubbed the Fappening, and Reddit is overpopulated with the Fappening page continuing to share collections and photos of images and comments that are are definitely not safe for work or PG-13. Some say that Reddit's fappening page has had over 100,000 users throughout the whole weekend. Celebrity gossip king Perez Hilton even came under fire after he released some of the photos, but he quickly deleted the pictures and sent out an apology yesterday. Quite a few celebrities, including Victoria Justice, are denying that the photos of them are real. Meanwhile, Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence has confirmed that those photos of her are real. An anonymous 4chan user called Original Guy, who seems to have been the hacker, though he claims he's just a collector and not a hacker, of said images, seems to have uploaded the images to an anonymous 4chan board where he asked for and received donations for the images. Unfortunately for him, it seems that he may have only received $120 worth of Bitcoin in USD for the photos, which according to him took him months and lots of Bitcoins to secure different sets of the photos, which were being traded privately Friday and Saturday. For those who don't know, 4chan is a fully anonymous Reddit-like site with a massive audience. It was actually founded in 2003 by a 15-year-old named Christopher Poole, and over the years, the site has grown to become one of the top sites of the world. According to Alexa, it's the 483rd most popular website in the US and generates roughly 20 million users per month. So if the hacker was looking for clicks, he clearly went to the right place. Unfortunately for him, he definitely did not get rewarded monetarily. Some are blaming Bitcoin in the aftermath of this hacking scandal, stating that Bitcoin was favored by the hacker and his fans and ultimately helped him remain anonymous. But hang on, the user that claimed responsibility of the hack indicated that more photos and videos of the celebrities are available. And he's been requesting both Bitcoin and monetary donations to a PayPal account. Gawker says that gossip website TMZ was even trying to purchase some of the images prior to them being leaked online. But the anonymous 4chan user was quoted in saying, I'd rather you get them than TMZ to 4chan users. But come on folks! Can anyone really blame a currency for having value and being chosen to expedite a crime? Could you have said, aha, the dollar is to blame? The dollar is to blame because he wanted millions of dollars for the photos? He could have easily asked for cash, which would have been way more anonymous, but maybe harder to collect. Seriously now. Either way, violating the privacy of even public personalities is pretty insane. So far, there's been a few clues as to who's really been behind the attack. And if and when the hacker or hackers get caught, the consequences are looking ugly. Let's take a quick trip down memory lane for a quick reminder that things like this are not really something you want to be doing. In 2011, a man from Florida broke into the accounts of Scarlett Johansson, Mila Kunis, and other starlets, and also posted them. Eventually, the FBI caught up with him, took him to court, and a year later, he's serving 10 years in prison. Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence is not amused. She's promised to sue any website that posts the photos and has released a statement on August 31st stating this is a flagrant violation of privacy. Jennifer Lawrence's spokesperson has said that anyone posting the pictures online will be prosecuted and the FBI is already on the case. Meanwhile, Mashable has reported that a number of Twitter accounts have been suspended for posting pictures of the victims and harsher punishments are likely awaiting the person who is responsible for leaking the pictures. All right, that's it for this update. Thanks, guys. Bye.